Hello YouTube peeps. Um, I did mention at an earlier upload that I would um, uh, finish off this amplifier. Uh, I mean it's all done and already but I'll go through the process once again. One mistake I made yesterday at 12 o'clock while I was doing YouTube movies, making one, making this, I left the radio on. So that would be a copyright strike and we know how strict they are with these things. So in the in my attempt at uh, co correctly biasing a bipolar NPN transistor, namely the BC337, I have two potentiometers here. That one's a 100K, conveniently with a knob fitted already. And this one is a one meg. One meg and 100Ks usually would cover all eventualities so um, I have this wire and um, turns out it's quite thin you can use pliers to strip it um, or, or sometimes if it's thin enough I usually often use my often I use my thumbnail so we don't want to do any soldering because that defeats the object. I mean, there are all sorts of important reasons why soldering isn't necessary. Good, I found my other BC337 that I dropped yesterday. <clears throat> I'd like to give credit where credit due. There's this lovely old book, Making a Transistor Radio, and it's um, one of those uh, ladybird or ladybug um books and in there they actually describe okay these this is how to solve if you want to do it but you can see um in the page i mean yes okay copyright blah 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 they copyright lady book bird books 1972 now all right so it's a copyright but at least i'm giving credit where credit due and in this making a transistor radio book is described building an entire radio from scratch with no soldering but purely um, using screws on wood. In this instance they're using uh, cup washers and slot screws. Um, cup washers tend to be uh, more pricey than they, need, than they should be even though they're made by the million. I don't know why they're expensive but I'm using these uh, washers uh, which are which match um, number four washer that matches a half inch number four screw and that works perfectly unfortunately with this radio book a lot of these components are not available anymore um, but and uh, what I do like is the idea that you somehow or another they've got really small screws and they've made the screwed the uh, potentiometer onto the uh, onto the board using the little holes in the lugs with tiny screws um not been able to find screws that small but what a brilliant book so i can't claim the originality of using screws and washers to hold down uh wires to make an amp um now with these number four screws and this potentiometer yeah it's a shame that that won't go through let's do what they do in the book bend it apart like this yeah they're much too big that won't, won't go through so the method i've chosen is simply non-soldering um to just wrap the wire around and squeeze it with pliers now I want to turn it clockwise to increase the current. So that's minimum, that's maximum, minimum, maximum. So the highest resistance at this position are these two. So these, these two, sorry, the lug two and three, lug one, two and three. So um, anti-clockwise high resistance, we use um, lugs, two and two and three and when you turn that's maximum resistance sorry minimum resistance maximum current 
jump cut, I suppose. I don't know. So here we go. Um, get the pliers. Get the pliers. No radio on. <laughs> I'm not going to get, I don't want a copyright strike. No way. Have a squeeze, there we go. There you go, that's one of the connections. And the other one, I said anti clockwise for maximum resistance goes on lug number. Oh, well, if you're looking at it, it's the right hand lug, and if you're looking at the back, it's the left hand lug. So that's that done. 